Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenport. My name's Wes, this is the Wild West Show. Um, I was just cut, I rented or leased this wood chipper to. Um, I cut those trees down in the last couple episodes. I just pushed them all in the corner here and um, finally I had a little money to left over from doing the dairy farm that uh, um, leased one of these and kind of been working out pretty well for me. So uh, I just wanted to finish up and get done here. So um, I had a tree over there on top of the hill. Um, I put that in and um, been uh, the wood chips have been quite a bit of money, but it's really time consuming. I've been at this for maybe an hour and a half or two hours. I think it's like five trees four trees something like that I can't remember how many I cut down over here then there's I cut there's one laying up on top of the hill over there and then I cut another one down so I get about six thousand dollars when I fill these two wagons so um, I wish I had a better way to do this is I tried using the tractor there over there with the new bigger logs put in there but things so finicky of how to get it into the machine there that it's better off cutting them into little pieces just do it by hand is pretty frustrating toss them in there it goes pretty decent so I can't believe how much uh, how far the much wood chips they make for a tree so I got a little more serious at cutting down trees, it'd probably justify to buy something like this, but um, for now, at least, and it's probably pretty decent. So, which is pretty good just to toss them in there. Got a couple left. Oh. heavy yeah, it's a little glitchy I had a piece over there on top of the hill hey well, you can see right here this one's floating but um, I had to cut it up and cut it up a few smaller pieces and, and uh, kept saying it was too heavy so Check my way again. Oh, that might be it full. Sure enough, it's full. Jeez. I can't believe how much it stores in there. Yeah, 17,000. Alright, one piece left. Return this thing. Cool, I think I got it all. I had to pick up here. Oh. The cow is over there bellering away. Oh, that is. here's one more. Yeah, I found it better if you cut them up and you just throw them in this way and then try to throw them over the side like I just did. But I guess that's personal preference, but that worked better for me that way. Alright, I think I got them all. Yeah, I'll show you this uh, machine just in case you're new like me. Um... 
Yeah, it just kind of turns on. Only turn it on and off. Leave it drives. Yeah, you can drive it a little bit. Doesn't, doesn't steer or anything. So, or does it? Oh. Oh so yeah, it, uh, you fold it up and everything. So. Move the. Oh yeah, it's nothing really, nothing to it. I got this shorter wagon back here because you had to pay four thousand dollars to make it bigger, and I was like, well. I didn't think it was going to pay this well, otherwise I would have done it, but I probably never end up using it that big because I paid for that one to be that big, but my auger for my combine went over the top, so I had to keep them both like this. Maybe down the road I can trade those two trailers in for something. Um, a little bit more, because I hold a little bit more and it's not quite so tall and it's longer. So, yeah, we'll just head to the sawmill here and get rid of this stuff, so. Yeah, just getting to the sawmill. Um, stuff I had to figure out is that is not the spot you sell your uh, um, your wood chips at. That's just for logs. Uh, for some reason, it ain't labeled very well. If you go back here, there's like a sell point back over here that uh, sell for wood for wood chips. So I don't know why they don't label a little better. Took me a little bit to find it the first time I've been here. So, um, just in case new to this, just like I am, I thought I'd just let you know that. for the big one. This one was usually pretty seven or around there or something, but I'm not 100% remember. It wasn't all full. Oh, 1,500. That works. Oh. We're back to the farm. I'm glad I got everything all cleaned up now. Didn't go too bad. It was just really time consuming and all that, so...
yeah, just get back here to the farm. Um, get us got to mention. Um, when you're running this uh, wood chipper. Uh, you have to go in it, you know, like a regular tractor when you push E, and uh, the if you have the settings over here. Um, where's it at? Right here. Yeah, automatically starts engine when you get into it. You have to shut that off, otherwise when you get back out of the wood chipper, the thing shuts off on you. You gotta turn that off, but I'm gonna turn it back on because I prefer to have it the other way. I always forget to shut off the tractors and I jump out. So, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's really a good machine. So, I wanted to get the one with the grapple on it, but I mean, you need a 250 horse tractor. I don't got nothing. And time you lease that and lease that and that, you know, about 10,000 bucks. So it'll probably paid for itself, but I don't know how well that grapple is to work with. So, but yeah, well, thanks for watching. I was trying to make a shorter video. I felt like my other one was really long and I don't know if anybody likes those long videos. So, um, I was trying to make this a little shorter. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. So, hey, okay, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.